Hi, this is Flo again. Now, a number of people will know that there is patterns now that you can choose for your icons and your paper dolls. In fact, any icon you can change to a pattern if you change it to print first, because the patterns have to be printed. Now what I've done here is I've imported the paper dolls teen scene and I have imported three paper dolls, this little one in the blue dress, this little one with the pyjamas on and this little gentleman here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I changed this little girl with the blue dress and what I did was I lightened her skin colour. Um, some people want it lighter, some people want it darker, and if you know the RGB or the hex code, um, rather of your skin colour, which are available on the internet, you'll be able to change your skin tones to whatever you like. Now, what we're doing at the moment is we're changing the patterns. So what I've done is I've made my paper dolls 8 inches for no particular reason other than it makes it easier for me to see on the screen. And I'm going to change her dress and I'm going to change her pom-poms. So what I do first is I go to my layers panel and I make sure that she is selected. And you can see here she's selected and I will ungroup. And then I'm going to pick her little, no this was picked her pom-poms. And so I can go up to the pom-poms and I'll do the pom-poms first. And what you need to do is either click on the scissors or the pom-poms themselves and go up and choose print. As soon as you choose print, you put an option of doing a different colour or a pattern. Now, with mine, I have a lot of patterns and um, I'll just clear them all at the moment. And I'm going to choose a pattern that I think will make the pom-poms look a little more, a bit more realistic. Now... Um, you can scroll through here um, going down like this or you can go down to the collections or you can filter what you want now if you choose filter you can filter by the patterns you own the subscription free ones or you can filter by colors and if you go all the way down you can see that you can choose by multicolor as well now if you go to collections You've got styles, um, polka dots, textures. Now again, you will be limited by what you've got available to you. But at the moment, um, I thought it would be um, quite nice to just initially, I won't choose a collection. I'll go back up to these ones and I will scroll them down. And for some reason my themes don't go to centre, I want to go back. If I click collections it does. Now you can scroll through your patterns here and you can find the pattern that you want. Now this time uh, what I found was that if I chose a multi-coloured one it made the pom-poms look a little bit more realistic. Now I'm just scrolling down through, I find that the ones that I ha don't own actually come up first. So I have to scroll down through quite a number of them. Now if you your team is in a particular colour, you will find that you would probably like that particular colour. And you can see I've been scrolling a bit fast, I've obviously clicked on something and it's come down and it's well scrolled it's only half scrolled down now um, this time for instance I might choose this red and white and see what her pom-poms look like in red and white now it does take a little bit of time to come up because these are quite complex images now you can see that those have gone to red and white but I'm not so keen on that simply because they don't show up terribly well um, with the white background in there. They may, if you've got her on an, um, a different coloured background once you've printed her, 
but in the meantime I will choose something um, a little bit different. I wonder what this one's going to look like. And you can sit there and you can scroll through and you can waste an incredibly large amount of time with, actually she looks like she's holding little bunches of flowers there and that's quite nice. So this time I'm actually going to pick her dress, which if I click up here I can pick her dress. Uh, again I shall go in and I shall choose print for her dress and I can pick patterns. Now I'm going to go back to the same pattern for her dress but I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to edit it. And down here you've got an edit button. And if you press the edit button, you'll see you can scale the pattern. Now, if I scale the pattern larger, it makes her dress look the same colours, but slightly larger. And so because of that, you can put the dresses and the pom-poms in different colours but they certainly still colour match and it looks really pretty. Now that one won't show the horizontal and vertical um, slide as well but if we move this to say 50 you will see that when I click it it moved the pattern. Now if you want a particular part of a pattern in a particular area that's what you would do is you would move it vertically or horizontally and sometimes that uh, makes a difference with a pattern sometimes it doesn't now I'm going to finish that I didn't go into changing the skin color but you can do that quite easily if you need to know any more just send me a message and I'll be able to um, walk you through it again now this little lady, again, she's in pyjamas with a teddy bear and I've made her pyjamas the same pattern as her teddy bear. And I've also given them lips, as you'll see here, which I've imported from um, a facial feature that I had already on there. Now again, I have to ungroup the little lady and I shall pick her pyjamas. I shall again go to print and into patterns and this time I'm going to go to a collection and I'm going to say okay I'm not going to go to that collection I'm going to the theme of animal prints and this is animal prints and wildlife and you'll see that it starts at the bottom now we could give her little owls and if you've got a little one that's into owls and you want to do the paper dolls in their pyjamas, that would be um, a really neat one to do for the littlies. And as I said, sometimes you have to wait a wee length of time for this. Now, you can see there that the owls are not terribly clear. And if you wanted them a bit clearer than that, again, go to edit and make them a little bit larger. And... You know, if we make them a little bit bigger still, you'll be able to see. Now, you can see now that we've got this little owl, but he's pretty pale. And this little owl is off the page. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to see if um, when I move this, I can move the owls down so that you can actually see that top owl. Once I work out whether I'm going in the wrong, right direction, um, yep, now he's 140, he might take a little bit of a bump bump to get down there. Right, now we've got this one up the top here, and if we move it horizontally, you can see that those little owls are going to come over into the middle. And now I've got a little owl up here that you can see, and a little owl down here. You might want a little owl in here, and you might not want these ones up here, but by moving these ones you can actually um, do quite a lot. Now if we wanted the little bear in the same we could do the little bear and we could um, put him into a print and into a pattern as well. Now over here I've done him in the same pattern as the little girl's dress, uh, the little girl's pajamas, but we might want um, a little colourful beer that's got little stripes on them. 
and these are sort of diagonal stripes and when we choose the bear you sort of think mm, yeah he might be all right but let's go and edit him and see if we can rotate those stripes somewhat so if i click down to there let's see if they rotate sideways or whether they rotate um, vertically and again no, they're rotating sideways so I'm actually going to put them at 90 and see what that does and they seem to have gone a little bit more horizontal so I'm going to pick 120 and as I say you can go through these now my little bear's got horizontal stripes on it and it's just simply done by using rotate you can either choose the numbers or you can choose your up and down panel and now she's got a totally different set of jammies on and she's got a little bear that's sideways if you've got a, a nice fuzzy pattern you could put your bear into a little fuzzy pattern now this little gentleman here i've got a mouth up here for him and again if i ungroup him I'm just wanting to change his shirt and I've worked out that this little pocket is on the top of his shirt so I'm going to click there choose print again go to patterns and we're going to clear all the patterns and we're going to see whether we can put them into a, a boys type pattern and I'm sure that I've got a boys type pattern in here and if we look down here We've got vintage themes, um, Halloween, nature, uh, sports and recreation, and I think I've got Buccaneer. Now Buccaneer sounds a boy type one, so we'll have a look at what Buccaneer's got. And Buccaneer has got this um, rather nice leafy pattern up here. It's also got... Um, some more patterns and if I look at this this is um, cream skull um, so I'll have to look at that and mm, yeah probably not too bad and if it's a boy and they're into skulls and that sort of thing it might be quite neat to have them in that and let's see um, yeah not bad course you can change the pocket as to where you want it um, you could take it off altogether or again you could turn the pocket and where's our pocket gone because we want that one and if we um, do the same thing with the pocket and put a pattern on it um, we might be able to put this pattern or even this pattern on it and if we put this one here on it let's have a look it's called Yo Ho in Buccaneer. So, um, yeah, and there's the pocket that's on it. We can move it across a little bit if we want to. And again, if we want to, if we go back in here and go to Patterns and go to Edit, we can uh, make that smaller or we can make it a little bit bigger. And if we make it big enough, we might have um, something specific on the pocket. And that will make it a little bit different. And you could do that with his pants. You can do it with all sorts of things. And then what I do in the finish, um, whoops, we better make this come to the front. Otherwise, he's um, not going to have a smile on his face, is he? He's going to have a smile on the back of his head. So... I've just used um, a bit of a moon to do that smile on his face. One of the things I would do now is I would go and I would regroup him. And because I like to print my dolls completely because it saves paper, um, I would select him now um, and I would just flatten him. And that will give me um, a printed doll. Now, the, likewise, you can either attach them or you can um, select print and you'll find if you select pattern, 
uh, flatten you will find that they now go down to an area where you can print them and it makes them very pretty as I say you can change the color of their skin tone you can change their dresses their colors their shoes anything that is part of them you can now change with the patterns and just remember that with the patterns you're going to choose the print first you're then going to choose the pattern and you go down through your patterns and you see which ones you've got and there's a lot of patterns to be had you can also get free patterns from off the internet and there of course you load your patterns by doing your upload images and when you upload a pattern you'll find that it it comes up in here so it's very important at this point that when you do load a pattern you give it a name so that you can find it again and give it all the bits and pieces so it knows what collection to go in and I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you give it a go because you've now got lots more tributes that um, you can see that the one I've got clipped is the paper doll teen scene um, it's a purchased cartridge for me and it's in C Sport and it gives you the number of the image here so if I wanted to import it again I can just put that in and I can have another little doll and I could have all my little dolls either the same or different so I hope you enjoyed it thank you very much